Okay, thank you so much. So now we'll be talking about digital presence today. Now, we, how do we start? Let's start by defining digital presence. What exactly is digital presence? What do we want to call digital presence? I, if you look at it, I said digital presence is an online presence. It's the existence of an individual or a business. Please, can you get this clear? An individual or a business. Now, yesterday, you, you see that we spoke about your strength and your skills, individual or a business. We spoke about your education and what you have, uh, what you have developed your skills for. As an individual, your education will count. But when we talk about your business, your skills will count. Are you, are you getting that? Now, your presence as an individual, your presence as a business person online is what we refer to as digital presence. It's, uh, for example, an individual is not active or, or on the internet, but who has an online presence is one who is a member of an association. I'll be explaining this very well because I've gone online to check for some of you. You'll be surprised because when I bring out some of your results, I have checked actually for everybody, but time will not uh, permit. I will only, when, when we are done, you will go and check up yourself how you are appearing in the digital world. But web presence is critical for all industries. In an age where the internet is such a useful communication tool, lack of a website or online presence can lead to potential clients or patients to find similar business elsewhere. Briefly, let me talk to those of you who are into the business world. You have a chamber and um, you are looking at yourself. You are not, you want people to come to you. One of the needs that you need to solve is to have digital presence. I remember at a time when I was called by someone and person said, please, we need a lawyer who has inter internet knowledge and who understands the legal profession. And some people said, oh, eh, someone can be of them. The first question they were asking me is, how do we get you online? I gave you a pre-activity. You listed the who you are online. And sincerely, when I saw it, I, I changed to this class. I discovered that I have to take things step by step and ensure that everyone become present in the digital world. 99% of you listening to me this afternoon, you don't have digital presence. It's very painful. You understand? But there is a way out. And that's why we are here. We are going to follow it. You will see it. It's not difficult. Every one of you, by God's grace, by this time tomorrow, the issue of digital presence would have been solved and would have been taken care of. So let's begin to, uh, let's, 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 let's keep on. If you, now, look at this diagram. This diagram tells you about digital presence. One thing that, uh, one thing that uh, <laughs> attracts me most there, look at this, online community. Can you see that? When you talk about the online community, now you know we're in a community now. We are together, we are learning. Uh, you are learning from me, I'm learning from you. I'm hearing from you, you are hearing from me. That's online community. You can imagine uh, the kind of uh, community we are building today. If you need a client, your client is not necessarily your next door neighbor. No, your client is anybody in the universe. I told you yesterday, and I'm repeating it to you today. The people on this blog, as I'm speaking to you now, some people are from France, some people are from Kaduna, some are from Oshu, some are in Lagos, and we are all together in a class. That is the community. Do you understand? And that is the same thing. It's not happening to me because I am Shobawale. It is what is available to everyone here. So if you have any business you are doing, if you have any content you want to make available, do you know the implication? The implication is everywhere in the world, in the universe, is your community. Now, someone is saying that I'm a father, I, I'm a counselor. All of you, you virtually everybody wrote counseling, counseling, counseling. Your counselees are not necessarily going to be the people you see or that know you. You begin to counsel people even through the in, in, through digitalization. And that is exactly what we are looking at today. Now, if you look at this laptop, can you see everything 
all the papers, all the sheets of papers, everything combined is coming into the laptop. That is what we are talking about. That, that the, the laptop, once you carry it, that's where you, your, all your presentation, everything about you, that is what lies. The, the house is coming from this particular one. And of course, one thing that it requires, that's why I repeated this diagram, is the brain, the mentality. You have to be active. You remember I told you, and that's why I gave you that assignment. That assignment is to test your understanding of how to pick a need and how to get it solved. We have uh, some things to do today, so we, we have to move a bit fast because of our time. Now, look at the next thing we'll be looking at now is the futures of digital presence. What does it involve? Don't talk about digital presence. One, it means be here now. Now, you see, when you talk of digital presence, be here now. Our communication now is not digital presence. No, that's what we are talking about. Digital presence is not online video, not at all. Digital presence means be here now. That means that every time you are needed, you are available. Are you getting me? If someone needs you in Chicago, you are available. If someone needs you in America, you are available. If someone needs you in Ghana, you are available. If someone needs you in your locality, you are available. If you are needed in Nigeria, you are available. If, and if 100 people need you at the same time, the 100 people must make, must, you must have, must have access to you. Now, can you pick something there? It, it, we believe, do you know that the, the digital world, digital presence is making us to now, to now assume, not assume, uh, to now emulate the ability of God. You are not getting that. As I am now, where I am, if I want to pray to God, God will answer me. Where you are, if you want to pray to God, God will answer you. God is not limited by location. Now, I want you to get something that is happening in to us here. God is not limited by location. God is everywhere. Anytime you need him, he's everywhere. And that is the same attribute we are saying you should develop. What can you do that if someone just needs information about you, they will get it immediately? What you can do is to have a digital presence. Are you getting it now? What we can do is to have a digital presence. Once you have a digital presence, you will discover that everything you need, everything people need to get about you, all the information that is necessary about you, they will get it. Another thing is this. When you talk about features of digital presence, I hope you got that. Be here now. Be here now. When they meet your CV, you don't need to start looking for anything. You don't need to run into your car and uh, you are opening your boots. No, 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 no. You don't need to start looking at inside your bag. Someone needs a sample of the clothes you make. Someone needs a sample of what you have done. Someone needs a sample of the house you have designed. Someone needs a sample of the case you have handled in the past. All these things, you don't need to start looking for boots. No. Hey, you must be here now. You must be here now. That's what we mean by digital presence. Uh, you must be here now. So then you create a powerful presence. How do you do it? One of the best feelings in the world is knowing that your presence and absence both mean something to someone. Now, I don't know if you understand this. If you pull down, take for example, if you want to go get information about a particular institution and you got to the internet, you typed in the name of that institution and the institution is not there, you know you are going to be disappointed. Because you checked the institution there yesterday, you, you checked the institution today, the institution is not there. That institution has not created a powerful presence. And that's the issue. So it, it's a great feeling when you know that, look, come what me. I am having people who are going to listen to me. I'm having people who are going to follow me up. I'm having people who are ready to have my information. And that is all you talk about creating a powerful presence. Now, this is important. Know yourself, grow yourself. In, the, in having digital presence, it's not only getting online. No. You have to know yourself. You have to grow yourself. Please, get it clear. 
you have to know yourself, you have to grow yourself. You don't stay in the digital world and it, it's, you, you just start, I have BSc, I have HND, and that's all. No, no, you don't stop there. You keep growing yourself. It's not as if I have, when I ask you for your email, everybody, most of you don't have other things. When I get, I'm going to talk about it. But you all have email, all of you. Everybody has Facebook. But do you know something? When you have Facebook, when you have your Facebook page, when you have your email address, you have known yourself. But if you don't do anything, you are not growing yourself. Please, I want you to understand these processes because the, after this class, we are going to start graphics practically. This is the last theoretical class. So you have to know yourself. You have to grow yourself. You have to identify this is who I am. This is where I am. This you, you, you have your, your, your LinkedIn page. I'm going to talk about it. You have your Twitter and you have your Instagram. You have all those things. By the time you have all your accounts, that is knowing yourself. Now you begin to use them. That is growing yourself. Can you get it? When you register, you are knowing yourself. When you begin to use it, you are growing yourself. When you have a degree, you have known yourself. When you increase the degree, you are growing yourself. Now, when you talk about increasing degree, it's not saying you have a BSc or HND or you have a master's or even PhD. It's not saying that, oh, you must now start getting into other areas. No, that's not what we are saying. What that implies, what that is saying is, at the moment you start it with a particular level on the, in the digital world, you don't stop at that level, you begin to add values. The values might be in, your, in the work you produce. In everything you do in, in that regard, you add value. As a, as a researcher, maybe you have made some researches, you have discovered that, oh, if we drink water, more and we are drinking oil, this is the result we'll get. You grow yourself by doing what? By adding that value and those information to it. Now, um, so now we, we, the next thing is presence of course within the moment. Now, does that give you any message that if you don't have a presence in the moment, I, uh, if you don't have a presence, you don't have something you are doing, okay, sir, can we tag ability to make yourself available online at any time as digital? Oh, this is a very good one. Yeah, you see, when you say, uh, let me say yes, and I will explain. He's asking a question. I just saw that in the text message. That can we type ability, ability, uh, you are welcome, man. Can we, can, can, you, can we type ability to know yourself, to be online every time as digital presence? That, that is not, it's not that ability. When you have digital presence, you are going to be online every time. Online every time does not mean switching on your phone every time. No, that's not the meaning. Online every time does not mean, I told you, we are now in a live class. This class is not an example of digital presence. You can hold one million Zoom classes a day. That does not mean you have digital presence. Please get that very clear. Digital presence is what, because the, the, I will show you the calibers. Let's just move on. I will show you the calibers. It's a call to action. Now, the next thing we are having here is the importance of digital presence. So the importance are numerous. Uh, initially, it helps you to get more opportunities as you are easy. You, people can locate you. They can locate you on LinkedIn. They can locate you on Google. Now, uh, are you beginning to get something? A anytime you go online, Google is always there. Google is there. People can locate you in different places. That's what we are talking about. They can locate you. It helps you to tell your story the way you want it to be told. Maybe I should, uh, I, 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 should, I cannot pretend. I know some of us are lecturers. You know, as a lecturer, if you want to publish, you will discover that you have some people checking what you have done. You have some people saying, no, you are qualified. You are not qualified. They check your publications. But what this time around, when you have a digital presence, you will tell your story the way you want it to be told. So oh, you have a farm, you will tell about your farm the way you want it to be told. You have an industry, 
you have a chambers, you have a school, you have a fashion house, everything you have, if you have a research work you have done, and you want that research work to be communicated to the world with digital presence, when you learn how to have digital presence, you will tell it the way you want it to be told. Okay, look at, uh, as we are now, some people have the opinion that this uh, is the best way out of the pandemic attack. Someone will tell you, let's go, let's wait for scientists. Someone will tell you, let's go for traditional apps. Different opinions. And you cannot change everybody, anybody. But one thing that you are sure of is that if you want to say it the way it is in your mind, the only solution is to have a digital presence. Then websites and social media platforms are excellent marketing tools. And uh, this one is for everyone who has a business. Websites and social media platforms. You don't need to spend money again on posters. No, 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 no. There are some businesses that will really suffer with digitalization. One of such, okay, I mean, when last did you buy a newspaper? When last? And is there any information going on that you don't know of? You don't need to buy newspaper again. <laughs> Everything is online. Everything has been digitalized. That's what we are talking about. You see that a lot of people do not bother again to go and buy, uh, you want to buy cassettes, you want to buy tapes, to listen to music. Everything is online. That's digitalization. And that is why, you see, the issue is not that the money will not be there again. No, it's only going to change form. It's only going to change style. It's only going to change from some group of people. It's only going to change from a place if you change to another place. If you only change from a group to another group, it's a matter cannot be, uh, it cannot be created or destroyed. You can, if you only change form. That's what we are talking about. So when you look at another importance of digital presence, it is cost effective. It gives us cost effective methods of sending out information to thousands of people. Do you know how many people were informed about this program? And still, we did not print a single poster. All we did, is to de all we did was to just design a poster. After I designed the poster, we sent it out. You all saw the same poster. We sent it to thousands of people. You're hundreds of thousands of people. That's what happens in the digital world. If it is in the physical world, if you want to give it to 1,000 people, you are going to make 1,000 posters. And that's the physical world. But today, to have, to have it go to 1,000 people, 10,000 people is just a single design. Once you have that design, everything is okay. And that's what we are talking about. So you have digital presence. It has a huge influence on the way consumers make purchasing decisions. I know this one is important. Uh, there is someone on this platform, when I was uh, chatting with him yesterday, after the first uh, episode, I said, but uh, why did you register? You don't know me. Oh, he said, I've been reading your work. That's digital presence. Now, this is someone I'm not spoken to. If he stands now, I don't know him. He doesn't know, well, he saw me for the first time yesterday. And this person is right in this house now. You know the reason? Because there is a huge influence on the way people will make decisions. He read my work, he read my article, he saw my presence, that gave me a value. And of course, that has affected his decision. He now registered. And he was telling me, I have no regrets. Can you imagine that? That's digital presence. That is exactly what we are, what we are talking of. Now, for you to add this digital presence, there is something. Let me give you, there is something that you need. And that is branding. And that is what I'm going through next so that you can understand me very properly. Now we are getting to the art of it, digital branding. Before we go to branding, can we look at this example very adequately? Now, if you look at the example I want to give you, uh, if someone has a vehicle and they, there is a meeting going on, if that person is around at the meeting, you know, you don't need to go inside. Once you see the car outside, you will conclude so and so is at the meeting. You know, that's what will happen most times. Very good. Now, that is a brand. That car is his brand. There are some people that look at me now. My hairstyle is a brand. Are you getting it now? Now, if someone, when you talk about digital branding, digital branding now talks of your identity. Can you see? It's about establishing your brand story 
and presence in the digital space. And I'm going to make some corrections here. Some of you, when I went through your, the submission, I saw your email address. Please take note of this. If your email address does not reflect your name, that email address must be changed. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. When you talk about digital branding, it starts with your identity. Some of you will have email address. You will be you have to dictate your email address to people. You have to start dictating to them. You, the email is not meant for you to use. You see, this is where I laugh at youth at times. You know, uh, if some of them wants to, uh, if they want to, if they want to spell a particular name, maybe Ayola, for example. You know, everybody knows Ayola should be A Y O O. L A Ayola, but now in their own way, they will not say Ayola is H A R. You see, uh, Y O R. Those things don't work in the digital world. When you talk about branding, the branding should reflect you every time. If we know you with a black Toyota Camry, that's your brand. That's the car you carry. Anytime there is a meeting and we appear to be at the meeting, once we see it, we know so-and-so is there. That's what we are talking about. It's a brand. It's a style. Look at Professor Wally Shoyinka, for example. Where if you look at him, even if you cannot see, if you, even if you don't know the name, once you see the hairstyle, you say, oh, that's that prop. And you get what I'm talking about. That's a brand. It's, it's made a brand. When you talk about digital branding, the name of your email, is a starting point. We are talking of identity. Your identity must be consistent. You must not have multiple identity. It, it doesn't work well in the digital world. Okay, is it possible for you? Some of us don't understand this thing. When you go on Facebook, you have another name. When you go to Gmail, you have another name. In the digital world, you are working against yourself. So please, look at your email. Your email, what is your email? My own email now is shobowale adedayo at gmail.com. Now, by the time you hear that, you don't need a soothsayer to tell you this is his name. You understand? That is how your email should look. If someone has taken, maybe for example, you are also shobowale adedayo, and uh, I have used that email, you want to use it, you can get as a shobowale adedayo 2000. You can get as a shobowale adedayo 54. You can bring any number in, but it should, you should consider those who will use that name. You don't need, when your email requires that you begin to spell it, hey, you have to watch. If someone says, show at gmail.com, do I, I don't need to spell anything. The only thing I need to tell you is that the show Ali does not have age. That is, when we talk about digital presence, uh, which starts with digital branding, the first thing is identity. So, can you go through your email now? The, with the, with what you submitted to me, I don't want to start mentioning people uh, because I've noticed some email I said no, but I did not. Uh, I only said okay, okay, because you are going to resubmit that class activity now with understanding of digital presence. You are going to resubmit it and it will show us. I'm having a question discussion. Yes, I am not going along at all. Please help. That's infinite odds. Uh, eight lie. Please start with the admin. I think it's going to be from your hand. Please start with the admin. Admin, please take notes. Admin can please come over. Uh, so thank you. Now you 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 have that. Please get that thing clear. Your your name, your identity. Now, when we talk about LinkedIn, we talk about Twitter. We talk about Instagram. We talk. We are, we are looking at all those things. Your name must be consistent. Are you getting it now? Your name must be consistent. When we get to finding who you are online, you will get what I'm talking about. Your name must be consistent. When we talk about finding it, you get it. Now look at something here. Visibility. You must be visible. In visibility. You, when we look at you online, when we check you through Google, that's, I've done it for some of you. In fact, I did it for virtually everybody, but I cannot report everybody because of time. I'm going to show you uh, those of you that I did it for and how you, how you, how you, how you are being rated, the credibility. 
Can you imagine this? Tone of voice, ratings and reviews, credibility. So you have to understand, you, you have to get that aspect of your voice. The, the, the way you are being rated is also very, very, very important. Please, you have to take note of that. Now, have you seen that? Identity, visibility, credibility. Those three things are very important. Your identity, be consistent. Please, if you are fond of using funny, funny names, please stop it. You have to use your name because, and let me say something, the process of digital branding starts today, but it cannot end today. In the next 10 years, you are still working because it's you, it's your life. If you go to Wikipedia now and you check Abba Kiari, Abba Kiari, if you check him, if you tell you that, if, oh, wow. Okay, so you understand because of Abba Kari, you see that you you Abba Kari's in on Wikipedia. It will tell you he was born at this time and he died at this time. That's you. So your digital presence continues until you are no more. Now, do you if you if you ever took note of Facebook, if you are registering on Facebook, Facebook will ask you to give the name of the person who will manage your account after you are dead. Is that for you to understand the meaning of digital branding? Digital branding, digital presence is continuous. That's why your policies will continue. If you understand where this thing is going, the earlier you join and you are part of it, the better. For those who are younger, you are very fortunate. Start early. You must have presence. What I saw, nil, 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 in your pre class activity. It shows you don't have a digital presence yet. Nil, nil, nil. It's not too good a thing. Let's move on. You'll see what I'm referring to very shortly. Now, look at this. How do you create a professional digital presence? One, you have to share your passion. Someone sent me a message. One of the participants sent me a message yesterday. Uh, he said, no, I, he, because he connected from France. You understand? He said, he, and of course, the, uh, he, uh, he just tried to log in. He said he was part of the, the class, and the part of me said, look, one thing he said that touched me. He said, I love the fact that you are passionate about what you do. Wow, that is so much, is so much for me. You understand? He says, you are passionate. You are passionate. You are passionate about what you do. And that's something very important. Are you getting it? Uh, please, I am. Oh, wow. Now I need to come down here just a minute. Just a minute. How many of you are hearing me well? If you are hearing me well, I think you just have to type yes. So that if those who are not hearing, if it's from their side, we can assist, the admin can assist them from the back end. If you are hearing me well, just type yes. Just type yes. Okay. Just type yes. Okay. Okay, please. Uh, I the other time, please. Thank you so much. I I think I've I've gotten enough responses on this. Please try your best. If you have issues, quickly chat with the admin so that they can help you. Please. Network at times does that. It is one of the challenges we are still facing in Africa. It's one of the challenges, but mostly it's not from. It may not be from our end air because. If it is from our end, then it goes for everybody. And that's why I've been trying to be very careful. I've not, I've not rushed so that you can understand it very well. The point we are now, it's a very important point which we need to pay strong attention to. One, share your passions. Don't go to the area that you don't have knowledge in. Please, don't get involved. Don't go into the area you don't understand, you don't have a passion for. Say, for example, look at the way I'm talking to you. I'm talking about this because this is my area. I am passionate about it. I'm knowledgeable about it. 
I cannot talk to you about sport this way. If you bring a topic on sport and you want me to talk, maybe by now everybody would have existed because I don't have that passion for sports. Now you need to understand that you have to find out where is your passion? Where does your passion lie? This is very, very important in the digital world, your passion area. Know what you are passionate about. If you are not passionate about something, don't go there. If you are not passionate about a, a particular area, because when you start the, in the digital world, you must ensure you are consistent. Take, for example, now, you look at when you were coming in. Once it's too tempting, someone said, I have scheduled my program. By the time people get used to you, they will know that, okay, every Tuesday, this man is going to publish an article on fashion design. Every Tuesday, a new style is going to come. Every Monday, this person is going to teach us something new in music. Every Wednesday, a new disc is going to come. If maybe, you see, people want to, once they are, they are used to you, they want to, they want to see the passion you have for what you are doing. And that passion will, 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 should not be in any other area more than in your area of competence your area of expertise, you cannot be everywhere. Can you see this? Find your niche. Now, this place says find. I need to explain something here. This place says find your niche. Look for it. What is your niche? What's your area of strength? Now, if, if, if you look at me now, I can talk to you about ICT. I can tell you some things about law. I can tell you some, a lot of things about personal development, your niche. But by the time you are taking me into the area of sports, I will run away. It's not my area. I can talk to you about education. What is your area, your niche? You must have a niche. And that's why you discover that the youth, most of the time, have challenges in understanding. The youth have challenges in, on, in, in having a digital presence because most of them, they do not have a niche. They have not gotten an area. I'm not talking of the entertainment industry. You know, in the, enter, in the, in the entertainment industry, you see, find a lot of youth there. All they do is music, music, music. But as someone who wants to have a, a presence in the digital world, one thing that is necessary, one thing that is compulsory is you must have your niche. I believe, can you do me a favor now? Can you just write down your niche? You don't need to type it yourself. Your niche is personal. Your area. You, because that is what gives people difficulties in the digital world. That is what gives them limitation. Those of you that wrote fashion design, wow, how much I loved it. But there is a question. You cannot design everything. Which aspect of fashion designing are you involved with? Should I give you a minute? Think about it. What's my niche? I've listed some. Think about it. My niche. Because it's personal. We are now getting there gradually. What's my niche? What am I ready to give to the world? What will I be known for? What would they call me for? Just a minute, please. You understand? What is your niche? Now, if you look at it, if you consider yourself, you consider what you are doing, you discover that in fashion designing, there are so many areas. Oh, someone who is in education, I'm an, I'm an educationist. Yes, I know. Are you a lecturer? Are you a school owner? Are you a teacher? Which area? Are you for youths? Are you for children? Are you for adults? We have adult education. You know, I, we, we have men in their 50s that they want to learn some languages. Which aspect are you? Find your niche. You need to find it. These are the specific things. Because when we get into the digital world and you want to manifest, if you don't have a niche, Google will not rate you. Do you understand? If you, when we get to LinkedIn, if those of you are on LinkedIn, a lot of you are on LinkedIn, I've checked all of you. Some of you are on LinkedIn, some of you are not. Most of the lecturers are on LinkedIn. Good. I'm going to talk to you about that very shortly. Now, but understand something. Google will not rate you if you don't have a niche because the rating is by your niche, your area. You must write it. What, what do you do? Are you getting it? Take, for example, I mean, I, I I'm a speaker now. There is nothing called speaker on uh, I mean, in the rating of Google. What you are is a coach. You can say you are a youth coach. You are a marriage coach. We talk of coach in the digital world. We are not talking of football coach alone. No, 
It goes beyond it. Oh, I'm a youth coach. I'm a child coach, marriage coach. You understand now. Someone who is into fashion designing, you, 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 you are a beauty expert. You understand? A design expert. These are the areas of naming yourself. Once you see who you are, then you brand it. Are you getting it now? Someone who can, I, I, I have one of my mentees who will tell you, though her name is Fatima, but she will tell you, I'm Coach Tima. You understand? Instead of Fatima, I'm Coach Tima. And that becomes a brand. And that's what you are looking at. If you look at my brand now, it is Dr. Dayo. That is a brand. You have it. You understand? And that's why it's very easy for what we have to grow because we have we are, we are following the right thing. So fashion designing now, for example, they call them fashion enthusiasts. That's what they call them. These are names you have to understand and you have to use consistently. Now, it, look at this. It makes your online presence unique and stands out from any potential competition. I must not deceive you. There are competition and you have competitors. But what stands you out is your niche. Because, and that's why Google deals with originality. If you are talking about an aspect of a thing, get deep in that thing. That's what Google will do. Then, of course, build the website. I'm still going to, I will see, I'll be talking to you more about that when we get into the other slide. Now, look at the next thing we are looking at is how do we create this digital presence? One, build an email list. I'm going to talk to you about that. That's above this class. Master SEO. That's another level above this class. Then, of course, you create value. How do you create value? Is by presence. Seems I have a message. You create value by presence. Oh, oh, thank you. Someone is saying I'm a school owner, okay? I'm going to talk to you about that. God bless you. I've seen that. I'm going to talk to you about that. So that's uh, uh, people are bringing their niche. Well, if you feel like writing it, I will appreciate it. Write your area of niche because I will, it will help me in making reference when we get to where we will be able to do it. Now, there is something I want you to, I need to draw your attention to. Be active online. I want to explain this. When we say be active online, we are not saying you should be arguing on WhatsApp. That's not being active online, no. You see, when we talk about activity, online activity, online activity has to do with what has record. The number of time you spend on WhatsApp is just wasted. Get it clear. Nobody is rating it. Nobody rates what you do on WhatsApp. It's a wasted time. What is, what is important are the things you impute. Some of you, when you get online, you post your family, you post everything about your private life on Facebook. That's not what we are talking of. That is not being active online. That is not being active online at all. Oh, no, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Have you gotten it back? I'm saying fading audio. It shouldn't be. Have you gotten it back, please? Have you gotten it back? I think uh, I'm expecting that uh, reply. Thank you. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. So now, you see, it has to be, you, when you talk about being active online, it has to be in relation, it has to be related to your niche. Anything you do has to be to your niche. If you write about web design and or you are a fashion enthusiast, I was telling one of the fashion enthusiasts that took part in the last class. When she called me two days ago and she was like, sir, I want to write about this, I want to write about that. And I now gave her advice. Have you thought of the best clothes to put on during this uh, uh, lockdown period? You know, during this period, when people go to the market, any clothes they put on to the market, they are not even expected to take to come into their house with that clothes, if possible. They are expected to disinfect themselves before getting into the house. Now, you see, there are some clothes that will not even retain some of these debts. There are some clothes that are special, that could be worn specially during this period. Have you read from the internet? Anybody talking about it? That is creating a niche. You know, let me tell you something. Are you aware that these Uber people, they don't even have a single car? Uber has no single car. What they have done, they looked at the weaknesses. They only created a platform. Everybody who has a car, what they do, and they are interested. They only subscribed. Uber will test their vehicle. Once it meets up, 
then Uber coordinates. And from the money you pay, Uber collects about 30%. Can you imagine that? Just imagine. So that is what we are talking of. They found their niche. You see, on the, when you come to the digital world, the world are split into different places. So you must know where you belong. What I am doing now is training. Some people, they don't train, they develop. Some people cannot train. I'm training because I, am, I, have, I have that ability to communicate. Some people are even better, but they cannot communicate. Such people, they will not go into training, but they will be developing. Can you imagine? Some people, they can't train, they can't develop, but they can sell what is being developed. You understand? That is being active. Some people, as I mentioned yesterday, innovators, they are not even concerned with developing. They are not concerned with selling. Their own idea is to look at what you are doing, then they will give you advice on what to do. They have innovative ideas. That's what we are looking at. Now, going to the next stage. Now, we are moving here to some things you need to take very uh, good cognizance about. There's something I want to point out here, and that is your reactions when you read online. Please, always comment on forums. That's how to be active online. Take, for example, you know, I normally have, I, 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 I do write. If you read any of my posts, go to the comment side and comment. Once you comment, if you go there 10 years after, your comment will still be there. That's active online. Do you understand? But if you type on a WhatsApp page, you, you have argued with some people on some things. If you spend your time, if you waste your time on that, you will discover that in another five, in another two weeks, everything you typed, there will not be record for it. But there are some things you do online, they are permanent. If you show a particular clothes and you show it, or some of you that have snapped uh, your pictures at one time or the other and you place it on Facebook, you know that Facebook will just bring it up and tell you this time last year, you posted this. That is being active online. And your activity online, I told you, should be related always to your niche, your area of niche. Someone who says, I'm a school owner. Please, everything you do, everything you say, let it be related to education. People will begin, you, by the time they mention education, it's you. You understand? And please don't forget to always add your location. Because if I need a lawyer, and I need a lawyer in Nigeria, and you all you, you wrote on online is that you are a lawyer, but you didn't specify you are from Nigeria there. How am I going to track you down? If I need a lawyer, a lawyer in Ogun State, and you only specify you are a lawyer in Nigeria, and I need someone in Ogun State, how do I track you down? These are things you need to understand. Now, going straight to the next point, and of course, this is very, very important. Are you with me here? You now need to understand this aspect of platforms for digital presence. But before I go into the platforms for digital presence, there is something I need to show you about this uh, idea of branding. And this is it, uh, this idea of branding, futures of digital branding. Now, these are the things you need, because from this, we are going to, the, we are going to start checking you online. What are the features of digital branding? Who you are, your person. Number one, the company. That's the organization you work for. You see, when I got online to check for some of you, what gave you rating? You, some of you don't have digital presence, but something gave you rating where you are working for. Now, there's someone who is, who is a lecturer in Obama Law University, who is also, I believe, uh, Dr. Jedero is, is in the house. Uh, by the time I checked, you will see, when I checked in, it reflected there. The fact that his lecture in OAU brought up his profile, you understand? And it's reflected there very easily. The company you work for is one of the things that will give you a digital presence and it gives you a brand. Another thing is the professional bodies. You take, for example, you are an engineer, you are a lecturer, you are a lawyer, you are a medical doctor. It's, it's part of the things that will give you your digital brand. Another thing is website. This one is compulsory for school owners, for business owners. How will you have a business and you don't have a website? It's like you are having a business, you don't have a shop. If you have a school, you don't have a website, it's equivalent to having a school without having a building. If you have, if you, most of you wrote fashion designing. 
If you have a fashion designing house and you don't have a website, it's equivalent for you or to you having a fashion designing ability or firm and you don't have a shop. That's how it is. Are you getting it now? So having a website is something that is compulsory for everybody selling products or services. Apart from that, those of you who are for content delivery, from what you have learned yesterday, you must now have a blog. These are the ways you are going to have your, your these are the ways you are going to have your digital presence. If you don't have a blog, who knows your work? And what is your blog going to look like? Your blog will be like my own blog now is www.dayoshobowale.com. That shows you my presence. And of course, anytime you go online and you type www.dayoshobowale.com, it brings me up. That is having a blog. I think I have a message here. Let me quickly say that. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Please check it again. It seems uh, the audio is having issue with audio. Check it again. Please check it again. It's, it should be from your end. Make sure you did not type, or you did not press smooth. Some of you, if you are, I can see some of you are, I mean, working with your, uh, some of you are touching your phones. And if you do, if you press smooth, you won't be able to hear me. That can be an issue because I've, I've, I mean, the mic and everything here is working perfectly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, but to continue, if anybody, if you are hearing me, just tap yes. If you are hearing me, just tap yes so that I can be sure it's not from here, but our mic is working perfectly well here. If you are hearing me, just tap yes. Um, one, two, three people. Let me have that so that I can continue. Thank you. I'm waiting. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, let me try and get it. Okay, that means it's, it's coming back. Yes, I, I waited, I held it so that everybody can hear. Confirm now. Confirm again now, please. Confirm, confirm. Thank you. No, 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 no. Check it now. It can be off and on. I stopped it initially so that everybody can be on the same page. Okay, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We are we are getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. It's Nigeria. So those of you who have content, uh, who have something to deliver, you have the content to deliver. You must have a blog site. Your name. Take for example. Oh, I'm uh, I'm a researcher. Then you must have a blog site. I am someone. I'm a counselor. You must have a blog site. The, the gifts you have. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the gift you have, we want to know it. If you're a legal person, they want to know about your idea. Oh, I am a specialist in this area. People want to know, and the only way they can know is through your blog site. That's it. You need that blog site, and how much do you even do a blog site? For a year, it's about, for some, well, it depends on the level of security. You have 30,000, you have some of 40,000. You understand? Uh, that's that's about what all you have for a year. Are you getting it? It's, it's this thing is usually very cheap. It's usually very cheap, and you keep on at it. So I'm, I think I'm having another uh, message. Let me confirm. Then you keep on at it. Oh, thank you. You keep on at it. You keep on at it. You see, it's not something that is so costly that someone will not come and tell you oh, it's hundred thousand. You are going to make this uh, a blog site. For a year, no. A blog site is your personal site, and nobody is even regulating it. You are regulating it yourself. You have an idea, you type it in. But you know one thing: it begins to give you the digital presence you desire, and that is where you are going to be making your money. That is where it's going to be coming in because, okay, of course, everybody knows about uh, the popular Linda Ikeja, and you know what, what has what has she been doing. All she does is that she has a website, I mean, a blog site, 
And on her blog side, she promotes some people. Now they pay her for advert. I showed you yesterday what people gain by having their work advertised. You understand? And when you go online that way, compare for that. Who will be who wants to pay you? <laughs> if Google will pay you, once they see how people are reading your work, if you have created a niche and your niche is making impact, God, they will bring advert to your site and gradually they will begin to pay you. You just sit down at home and people will pay you. If you have anything you know, type it online. You know some things about fashion, go ahead and type it. You know some special things about education, go ahead and type it. Don't keep these things in your house. You have eaten yourself long enough. It is time for you to come out. It is time for you to grow up. It is time for you to do something that would be bringing in money into your pocket. That's it. Some of us, nothing. In fact, when I say the lawyer, I always laugh because if you're a lawyer, you are needed everywhere. A lot of things are happening in a lot of family. If you decide to do the writing on law, on anything that has to do with marital issue, and you begin to counsel, you will realize the number of people that will be calling you, hello barista, please can we uh, have a miniature? Okay, so you see, it, it now begins to say, you, 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 you can have a minute with me, and it continues like that. The person will definitely pay you for that service. That is what happens. They don't just speak to you anyhow because they have read your work. Someone called me, I told you yesterday, he said, uh, Dr. Chubali, I have read your work. Now, can you counsel us in this area? And of course, I give my terms. You understand, this is what I can do. You have read my work. My work is there. I posted this number of, uh, this uh, almost 20 posts. I have over 5,000 followers. All these things, they see it is there. You understand? So that means that if you come to my site and you want to advertise your own program, Sorry, I have a very uh, unexpected break there. Yes, it's general. That is from here. That's from here. Yes, that's from here. I think that has been corrected. We, so thank you. So now they will look at it and based on what they have read, they go back and they pay you. So you see that you need that block site as an individual. Please, there is no gain saying about it. There's nothing you can do. Now let's move on to the next thing. The next thing we'll be looking at here is we want to see which tactics are we going to be presenting. How do you improve your digital presence? The, those tactics, and of course, I've mentioned them. But before then, let's do some. Um, let's look at some of the work I have done uh, so that you can understand. If you now want to have digital presence, the following things are necessary. Look at it now. Can, we, can you recollect your assignment? Social media, Twitter. Most of you don't have Twitter handle, most of you. And you see, when you talk about Twitter, what do you do? Your thoughts, very simple. As we have this pandemic attack, your thoughts, you just share it and you leave. Very simple. Your thoughts about trending issues, you share it, you leave. Are you getting it? It's giving you a digital present. Now, uh, LinkedIn is compulsory. I want you to look at LinkedIn from this perspective. Now look at this, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, divide it. You must be LinkedIn. If you are a professional and you are not on LinkedIn, you are not doing well. There is no way. If you have, an, if you have a fashion designing stuff, you have a school, you have a farm, you have a chambers, you must have LinkedIn for yourself as an individual. You must have LinkedIn for your firm. Can you get that? your personal self, your company. There must be LinkedIn because when it comes to education, if you have a school, they want to check educationists and educational centers. Are you getting it now? You must have LinkedIn, then of course, Facebook. 
I'm going to be showing you some things there that is very funny. Facebook is what most of us will misapply. Facebook is not meant for a repeated at times and again. Just let me tell you, use Facebook to promote your work, your email and video channels. Now, there's something I did which I want to show you, and that is this. And let me start with myself. When you go on to Google and you type Dr. Dayo Shobawale, showing yourself your digital presence. When you type Dr. Dayo Shobawale on Google, this is what you are going to find. Now, can you see this? Dr. Dayo Shobawale, this is directly from Google. That the MD CEO, Davos College, that's LinkedIn. LinkedIn is reporting me first. I will show you for, for others. I checked for all of you, but because of time, I cannot show for all of you. Now, this is Dr. Daya Shobawale again. This is on Twitter. You see, you, my rating on LinkedIn, now, this is Dr. Daya Shobawale. My name is coming first. Out of all the Dr. Daya Shobawale in the world, we have about three or four that goes by this name. But because of my digital footprint, because of my digital activity, my name comes before every other person. As a matter of fact, if you go to Google and you tell Dr. Daya Shobawale, you are going to have my name taking care of all the pages. If you go to the image, you will see my image being the first four images in Google. That is strong digital presence because I am active in the digital world. Now you have to check yourself after this class. You have to check, where are you? I now check for some people. I checked for Mrs. Titi Oluwaran Titi Loye. Mrs. Oluwaran Titi Loye is a student in this class now. Now, she, she is coming up here based on her Facebook. Can you imagine this? Based on her Facebook, and you know, I told you about where you work. Of course, you can see Titi Loye Oluwaran Titi Kemi. He is a principal confidential secretary at Ocean State University. This rating is coming for her because of where she is working. Do you understand that now? Where you work, that's what I call your company. You understand? Now, your personal self also comes in. Now, this is if you get here, you see our picture. Now, by the time you get there, you know, 60 plus. The reason why this is coming up here is because she has not been very active in the digital world. Can you get that? Yes, so it is now 60 plus, so many. So we have to be looking for her. When I went to check her picture on that images, I discovered that her picture is not in the first two, if I'm not mistaken. That means that she's not been active in the digital world. If that is, and that is something you have to take note of. I moved on from there. I checked for Dr. Mrs. Adekoju. She's also a student in this class. I don't know, I wish, I've not seen her today. I hope Dr. Adepoju is in the house. Now, if you look at this, Dr. Adepoju, this is the person. This, this man is not Dr. Mrs. Adepoju, but this man is Adepoju. And this man has more digital presence than Dr. Mrs. Adepoju. Now, Dr. Mrs. Adepoju is a lecturer. So as a lecturer, I, rest, I work in, is in research gate. The moment you are a lecturer, research gate brings you above every other person that is bearing that name. That is why all lecturers, all academic staff, anybody who is a researcher, you must make sure that you have your work published at ResearchGate. It's compulsory. I think mean, this program is only meant for those in the academic, in the academia. I would have taken more time to explain this aspect to you. But now you are getting it. This is digital presence. Now, this person here, this third person, let me show you. This third person is not Dr. Mr. Adepoju. This person is not Dr. Mr. Adepoju. This is Dr. Mr. Adepoju. You can see now that these images are not for her. Do you understand? But she, and the reason is that is because that is showing that she has not been very active in the digital world. You understand? This, when you talk about digital presence, this is where we get it. Now, let's move on. Who else did I check, okay? I checked everybody, but I can't report all. I, oh, this one is wonderful. I checked Dr. Jedino Isaac Ayodele. Now, this is a lecturer at Obama University. That has brought him up there. Can you imagine? That's on LinkedIn. Now, you, you can't afford not to be on LinkedIn. So if Dr. Adekoju has been on LinkedIn and she has been active on LinkedIn, a LinkedIn account will have come up. Now, that research gate that I mentioned, you can see research gate here. That's the third one. Because 
Doctor General Isaac is on meeting. He came up first because it's active there. Now, this second one is purely OAU. And I want to advise him, uh, Dr. Jedino, if you are, as you are listening to me, please tell OAU to upgrade your status. Because when I went through this, everything there was in 2012. This is 2020. That means they upgraded it last eight years ago. And when people want to find out who you are, they can't know who you are now because it was upgraded eight years ago. That is something you need to take note of. Now, Dr. Jetino is able to take these four spaces. You know the reason? Because of where he's working and because he has LinkedIn presence. I think Dr. Jetino is the only one that will score a pass mark when it comes to digital presence, but he has not been active. Now, this is Chief Mrs. A. O. Kolawole. When I check uh, uh, Chief Mrs. Kolawole, mommy, you don't even have that presence at all. Some people have used this name. That means you have to come up. You have to come up. You have to come up. Maybe after the class, I will see what I can do. We will have, you have to come up on the, the, the digital world. Thank you. Now, look at this. So what are the benefits? Of, I checked a lot of you. I checked, uh, I checked the Omigbo dose. I checked a, a lot of you, but I'm not reporting them now because of my time. The purpose of activity. You have to understand the benefits of LinkedIn. And I want to show you the benefits of LinkedIn by showing you that if you want to have, I've explained this to you, that your company, your professional body, the, you, the professional body you belong to, make sure you publish with them. It will bring up your name in the digital world. Then, of course, we need a, a website if you have a, a business center. Now, let's see what happens on uh, LinkedIn. Can you see this? Now, this is my own LinkedIn account. It's, I used it for the last class. This place is saying, if someone checked my profile, the person worked at Chevron of Nigeria Limited. Can you imagine? With, without my knowledge, the person wanted to know about me. He just went on LinkedIn and checked my profile. And in my profile, that person is saying, oh, I have, oh, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Adekonjo. I love that. You understand? So you see what we are talking of now? The person is from, and that is how they'll be checking you. If they want to check you, they will go to LinkedIn and see what is your what. What do you carry? You understand? If that person has a job for me, we will read my profile. Another thing you need to understand is that there is a way you have to report yourself. You must increase your activity. I'll be showing you that as we move on. Then another thing I want to talk on is the pictures you use. Look at me now. This is me on, on Twitter. Can you imagine this? On Twitter, my picture is there. But can you see, this picture tells you something. This person is a speaker. Please, when you use picture on LinkedIn, your picture should show professionalism. I'm pleading with you. On LinkedIn, make sure your, your, your picture shows professionalism. It should show that you are a professional. If you are, if you are, if you are an educationist, for example, your picture should show you as an educationist. If you are a fashion designer, you, should, you cannot dress anyhow. Your picture is part of what you are selling as a fashion designer. That's why you take note in all my pictures, if any time I post, I'm okay. Oh, good. This is a testimony from Mr. Bio Noluabumi. He said, I got my first interview through LinkedIn at Philip Electronics Company in year 2013. Can you imagine that? And that is how powerful it is. Now, your picture, I've told you about your name. I don't just use any name. Your picture to show what you are doing. You, you, are, you are a speaker, and your picture is showing that you are dancing. It's contradictory. If some of you will just put on anything. No, it's not like that. When we talk about picture, it's not that when you dress fine, you will not begin to take selfie. No, it's not about selfie. It's a picture that tells us who are you. You must be consistent. Can you get in it now? That consistency. If you are an engineer, we are the cap. Let us see the engineering in you. If you are a fashion designer, do it. If you are, if you are a farmer, let us see. Let us see the whole. Let us see your area of expertise. Let us see your area of performance. These are the things we are talking about. So you see that your picture matters. Now, can you see this? Because of my because of my involvement in the legal profession, that's why if you see this picture, this is my picture. You see the way it is. That picture shows. Oh, this is white and black. 
Okay, you, you cannot tell us you are a lawyer, and by the time they want to see your picture, you are in Agbada. It, it's contradictory. You understand? Because the people that want, in fact, possibly you should be in your role. That is when they choose that, okay, this person is truly a lawyer, and this person can attend to us. Please, speak, just speak a lot in the digital world. Now, we are going to be rounding up very shortly because of my time. Now, what am I going to be telling you today? Your digital presence. There is something that we, the elderly ones do tell us, that they, if they want to pray for you, they will tell you that may your face not be like a snake. May your path not be like a snake on the, on the rock. You know what that means? That means that that person has without a presence. Please, when you talk about digital presence, there's something called digital footprint. That's the combination of your digital presence. If you have digital presence, it will give you digital value. Digital value is when people go online, they check you, they have seen your value. Oh, can you imagine the people that I told you, oh, they said, please, can you come and deliver a lecture for us in Abuja? And how did they get information? They got it through my, through, through my digital presence. They got it through my activities. That is, they have seen, they went on Google, Dr. Dao, Shobo Ali, they read everything. Oh, this one, he can do it. They have read all my work. They, they read my blog site. They saw everything, okay, this one can do it. But what he has done, but what he has done in the past, he can do it. That gives you digital value. The digital frequency is how often you do it. I don't know if you are getting me. How often you do it. If you are a fashion designer, every week post something you have done online. If you are an educationist, the records of your children, the, the things about your students, post it online. Something special about your school. Your school has a niche. Your school has something others are looking for. But you can post it on that. You know, let me tell you something. I want to challenge all school owners that henceforth, apart from your physical students, why can't you start getting uh, digital students? Do you know there are some students that are, uh, that are overseas, that they are ready to register, even in your school, if you are ready to give them what they need, and they don't need to come down. That is the way it is. By the time it's time for examination, you invite them to come. These things are happening already. All we need is to start. When we start, we may just have the students. But one thing about the digital world is that once you start, you won't stop. It will keep growing. This class will keep growing. Do you know, as at yesterday, five people called me. They said, oh, sorry, we can't make this class. When is the next one? I told them next week. You understand? Because I told them there is no stopping. You understand? You have to move on. Imagine the advice that Dr. General gave. And he was saying, go to the registry. Go to this, go to that. And you see, that is how it goes. So digital frequency, when, it, when you have digital presence, it gives you digital value. And when you have digital frequency, then you will add a digital footprint. Once you add a digital footprint, what do you add? Digital dominance. What is digital dominance? That means you are in control. Do you know, my own stand is, as far as digitalization is concerned, in my area, I want to be in charge. That's digital dominance. When you have digital dominance, then people will begin to demand for you. Well, that's it. You are, it grows. It's a process. You understand? And once there is demand, then you have profit. If there is no demand, there is no profit. You understand? Once there is demand, please, can we have you here? Can you help us with this? Can you help us with this? Can you set this up for us? One of the participants called me yesterday and said, hey, doctor, please, this Zoom that you use, how can you do it? You understand? And the person has paid. I said, okay, no problem. I will help you fix it up and you'll be able to use it in your school. That is how it is. You must understand this process. Before profit will come, these are the processes you will follow. You must have a digital presence on LinkedIn. Now, what is the assignment? Go all the things you filled in your creativity and you wrote nil, nil, nil. Now, go back there. Go and create a LinkedIn account. Someone said, I forgot my password. No. Cancel that one, create another one. No, for any password that is forgotten, let it go. Cancel that one, go and create another one. Twitter, at your name. When I got to Twitter, the guy, Yoshoba Wale, has got into Twitter before me. So what I did is, instead of writing, when I wrote at Dai Yoshoba Wale, it did not go through. Only you can bear that name. So I just turned it to at Dr. Shoba Wale. That one went through. It will show you, it must show you. You understand? If you go to, to the moment, I'll be rounding up in less than five minutes. The moment this class is true, you open up Twitter account, LinkedIn account, Instagram, open it up. Then you will refill that activity class. 
and send it for me. You understand? And show me you have, you have done this. For those of you who are content carriers, those of you who are career workers, so you need to have a blog. When you have money, you register for your blog. There are free blogs, but I don't normally advise them because it doesn't last. You understand? You see, but so you have it. You must have a blog. Now for the younger ones, you now learn how to develop it. Can you imagine what will happen? Someone who is about 50 years, 54 years, who has something to tell the world, who has something to write, he needs a blog. Maybe the name of that person is uh, Milawal, and the person will have www.bkmilawal.com. Now, that person is going to write, but he does not know how to design the blog. He does not know how to buy the blog. That is, okay, uh, sorry, someone is trying to uh, make a request, I've declined the request because of our time. So that blog, you understand, that person buys the blog. When the person buys the blog for you, the younger person will buy the blog, he will make money, the older person will use the blog, he will make things. Can you see the way it works? Everybody has a space in the digital world. Please don't miss it. If you are in anything you are doing every week, go online and post something. If you don't have money to start website, I mean a uh, website now, you don't have money to start blog sites, you don't need money to start Facebook. Go on Facebook, publish your work. That's what we are saying. Anything, any clothes you sow, display it on Facebook. Stop displaying your family. You understand? Stop making a don't. Your privacy is not meant for the, the public consumption. No, not at all. You understand? Display what you are good at. If you are a professional at something, that's what you should go and do on Facebook. If your email name is not in tandem with your real name, change it. So you are going to be sending it to me. Are you, have you gotten that? Your email name, go and work on it. Your picture, if the picture there, I mean, how can you be a pastor? And in the picture, you are dressed like an imam. How can you be an imam? And in the picture, you are dressed like a pastor. That is contradictory. Are you getting me? If you are an engineer, let your picture show it. If you are a speaker, let your picture show it. If you are an educationist, let your picture show it. Let your picture tell us who you are. That is what happens in the digital world. So apart from that, you have to balance up everything. When you put all these things together, Google will now begin to rate you. God will now begin to rate you. Your name will now be coming up. So you will now, as you grow at it, you will now get to a time why when they mention that name, you are the one in charge. And I believe if you do this, you will be very excited that you have been able to have a digital presence. And the only thing is, it can only get better. That's it. It can only get better. Once you start, you will keep increasing. You will keep increasing. And I believe the Lord will bless you mightily by the special grace of God. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Thank you for understanding some of the challenges. Thank you and God bless you. I'm grateful. Yeah, let me, uh, let me confirm that. If there's any question, let me quickly take it. Yes, if there's any question, let me quickly take it. Just send in. Uh, if there's any question, 